Hello and welcome. Um, again, I'm continuing with the messages of interpretation of your being and this new um, version of I that is the new multidimensional interpretation um, of our reality or really of our own beings. And so again, um, through this series, I'm continuing to discuss kind of like um, the set of nuances, the very finite nuances they kind of make up this larger picture uh, in hopes of giving you an, an overlook and an idea uh, of the the trajectory or direction in case you're drawing confusion on the multidimensional interpretation or if you're not even interpreting it that way on the shift that is taking place on the global scale. But really more importantly, on the shift that is taking place inside of you so then you can define your own truth out of that shift. Um, and then, and then, then call that your reality, right? Uh, allow yourself to feel comfortable with that reality, and so that that is kind of what I looks like. I'm going to channel in this in this version is what it means for you to find comfort in your own truth as the world is continue to shift, to morph, and to become more and more confusing. If you don't understand what is happening kind of on the larger scale of existence, right? And, you know, th through thousands of years of our interpretation of our human existence, we can say that, you know, there's multiple truths, there's multiple stories. People always say there's two sides to every story or whatever, right? But what, what that really means, what this really comes down to is that each one of us is an individualized interpretation. We are each an individualized interpretation of the wholeness, right? And thus, if you want to define as multiple truths, if you want to define as multiple interpretations, what we hold within ourselves is not a different truth, not a different interpretation, but simply our own innate knowing of the truth that is our interpretive, our reality, our definition of self as a reflection of the wholeness, as a reflection, if you might want to say, divine. And so instead of looking at yourself being apart from the whole, and thus your truth not being in oneness with the rest of the world, how you should interpret it or what you might want to approach this as is to recognize is your individualized truth is individualized to you as part of oneness and the wholeness that that is very much individualizing their own truth on an indiv in individualized scale of self, right? To dissect that further. If you imagine um, if you imagine a ball, right, and it is the ball of oneness, it's one one ball. Um, I'm just getting an image of a pineapple, right? There's a pineapple <laughs> that is more round than regular pineapple shape, and we we interpret ourselves as one being, as one unit. That is the ball, that is the pineapple, right? But as we start to look in into the, right, as we start to zoom in, right, from this larger idea of like, okay, here's this one unit, there's this one unit of interpretation. As we start to zoom in on, on any one thing, really, this is the reality of the whole cosmos. But as we start to zoom in, let's say in this case, on this pineapple, we'll recognize that the pineapple on the inside, on the whole, right, being held together in this oneness is made out of different parts, right? This applies to everything, but pineapple is easy. And so if you're ever taking a pineapple apart, right, the right way, um, you will notice that each one of those little bulges on the pineapple, right, is actually its own little world, its own little interpretation as the whole, right, as part of the whole. And so you can continue to exist as an individual interpretation 
of oneness, being within the oneness, but recognize you hold your own truth and your own unique sovereignty as the piece of the whole, right? And you can take all the pieces together and, and you know, at that point, the whole does not exist because now they have been spread out as an individualized pieces of self, right? When you start to, to bang on the pineapple and it starts to pluck itself apart, um, the core the core exists, right? The, the stem that held it all together is there, but each individual piece holds its own sovereignty of growth, of interpretation, of flavor, of, of, of juiciness, of thickness, and I know I'm getting into esoteric forms of uh, pineapple, but it'll reply to you, you as a being. And then the global interpretation of all 8 billion of us on this one plane and one reality. Um, and then we hold our sovereignty in choice, right? Even though we are still part of the whole, right? The whole does not exist without us being there, right? The whole does not function. It does not facilitate experience. It does not facilitate matter or form if we are not part of it. But we can still hold sovereignty and interpretation. And in fact, matter into the wholeness based on the fact that we exist as part um, of this lar large global nuance, large global interpretation that is the reality of oneness. Um, and so recognize your own personal space, recognize your own personal sovereignty in the fact that your truth does not separate you from the whole. It in fact showcases your own personal place of belonging in the whole. And so something that is coming up is that is why it would be so, so, so important for each one of you, each one of me, each one of us as an individual being to hold our own sovereignty and to offer into this world our own perspective of self. Because even though we're one in eight billion, we represent the divine, unique essence of creation that is us as part of the whole. And so the importance of each one of us, you, me, cannot be understated. Um, because we, we hold within us the light. Each one of us is a unique ray. Each one of us is a unique light that chooses to, through our sovereignty, to become an individualized expression of wholeness, of being. Um, and so it is you know, I would caution and I would say it is very easy to lose yourself in questioning of what well, that truth does not match my truth. And that seems like what what this person truth is, but it doesn't resonate with me. And then, you know, it, it could be confusing and we can get very lost in the idea that we have to marry something else. We have to marry somebody else's idea. We have to marry somebody else's interpretation of reality. But what, would, what, would, what I would caution or what I would emphasize is without having to look for, to outside for validation or for, for baselines of operation, I would always recommend and I would always caution the importance of looking inside uh, and feeling your own innate guidance, your own innate truth to the in, um, interpretation of this multidimensionality, of this global scale of beingness, but in reflection of you, right? Um, in reflection of your own personal take, personal unique observation on the vastness of scale of human experience, but from a very individualized and very 
unique and, and much needed perspective of self. And so don't lose your uniqueness. Do not confuse yourself in the masses. Do not um, believe in multiple truth um, as a net negative, but believe in the individualized knowing um, as the makeup of reality, as the makeup of multidimensionality, as the makeup of us living this new interpretation um, of, of humanity. Um, and then again, I would state over and over the importance of you having that sovereignty, having the will and the power and the strength to see within yourself the offering that you you are offering into this world. Uh, and, and do not lose that individuality. Do not lose that perspective. And in fact, go in more, right? Go in more and marry yourself more and marry your truth more and stick to your truth. Fight for your truth. Uh, not with others, but within yourself. If in the past you had a hard time sticking to your truth and then married your truth with the masses, right? That we kind of all fell into that that um, densified rhetoric of being. Uh, but because that is no longer an option, recognize that it is more important than ever to recognize that you already hold the truth within yourself. And it, it, there's no need to go out and search for anything. Uh, because all the answers have always been, but now are more obviously there than ever before within you. Uh, and how beautiful is that, right? That How beautiful is that we have all the tools necessary to live in sovereignty um, and in the in, in most alignment to our highest potential, right? That, that right there itself is, um, is brilliance. Uh, that more than ever before, we have the potential to live our fullest potential. I know we have always had potential to live our fullest potential, so it's kind of a, an interesting gimmick. But maybe we have more strength and power within ourselves to make that happen. Um, and that's beauty. That's definitely beauty. So be beautiful. Thank you.